Hello, 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 and happy Sunday slash Monday to all of my skills of justice, Libra. Let's get right into your reading. This is your Sunday slash Monday. Usually we have a Sunday and a Monday video, but because there's a holiday, some parts of the world, yes, we're going to combine the two, and I will see you again. The next video will be on Wednesday. So let's get right into your reading. The energy has already been cleared, so let's go. Let's go. We are very, very close to the next moon phase, which is the third quarter moon in Scorpio. Yeah, so this has been a pretty intense month for a lot of people, especially that full moon energy has been quite intense. So what I'm looking at here for you all is focusing on your healing, like really, really focusing on your healing, right? This star card is attached to one of your uh, sister signs, Aquarius. So I see a lot of you all healing. And I, and I do see, let's, let's look at all the cards. We have the six of pentacles. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the seven of swords. And we have the ace of wands. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. There's a lot of financial independence here. I do see somebody receiving more money, which seems to come out a lot in your cards is the money that you all are receiving. The energy of money is very attractive to you, Libra. Again, you all are very cooperative, able to see both sides of the coin because you sit right there in the middle of all the zodiac signs, balancing the whole world out, actually. So you need to be balanced within in order to... Um, to be able to spot this right away, very manipulative, low vibrating energy so that you can sever ties with this sooner, take the initiative to really sever ties with this sooner to balance out your own scales. So this can come in any form. And I do see um, around full moon time, something in your life was really exposed, right? It could have been in you or around you. Because remember that full moon lights everybody's internal path and external path. So it could have been something in you just kind of putting some fire up under you. Okay, heal so that you can really start to see things a lot clearer. Your brow chakra wide open, seeing things a lot clearer. So the, so the moment you see this, like when you start to feel like you're being indecisive or um, out of balance in any way, shape, form, or fashion, it's time to sever ties with it, not hold on to it, right? Because it's going to be blocking you from seeing other people around you that's... Uh, that is out of balance, right? Like I said, so let's see what else we have here with these cards. Let's see what else we have here, Libra. Let's see what else we have here. So again, like I said, I see you moving towards healing, right? Healing mentally and physically healing after coming out of something that was really, really, um, something that was exposed. Somebody has some secrets somewhere that needed to be exposed. Wow. Wow. Uh-huh. Is that person close to you? Could have been not just one person, but people. You know, we have seven of swords, right? So that number seven, you can go look it up on the Knowledge Channel. The link is below um, to the knowledge, so my second channel is the Knowledge Channel. But see, at a higher frequency, you were able to see it quicker, right? You were able to see things. You were able to get above it, rise above it, and look down on it and see it for what it really, really was. Who those people were, manipulators, liars, gaslighters, right? So instead of you trying to play fair, you decided, I'm going to sever ties with that because this is weighing me down. So a lot of things are coming full circle for you, Libra. A lot of things are coming back around full circle. So if you feel like you lost any time by, by being in the company of this kind of energy right here, time is just an illusion. You haven't lost any time and you certainly haven't lost any money. As a matter of fact, you've gained money. So that snake has slithered away. This was like a real deep emotional situation for somebody. Whatever the situation was, and again, take only what, uh, only what resonates with you. This is a general reading. So something was real deep for somebody. Somebody had deep emotions, like deep as this ocean. That's how the emotion. So somebody's going to really start learning how to listen to their um, intuition, that third eye, that brow chakra, right? Somebody was trying to get this energy right here to benefit of the doubt. Remember, because you all are really fair-minded, you see both sides of the coin. So you were able to see into this person and somebody started making excuses for them. Well, you know, that was how they were raised and then you can't really blame them. They don't know any better. They did know some better. Now they, now they have to pay. Somebody has to pay for something. Because anytime you receive money, somebody's losing money from somewhere else in the universe. So somebody, this is the, this is, 
this is their karma, this is your karma. Remember karma just is. Their karma was being exposed as a fraud and a liar. Yours was, yours was exposed as because you're a giver, now it's time for you to receive. Got it? Good. In the past, you would have been so distracted trying to see their point of view and trying to adapt. Even though you're a cardinal sign, sometimes you want to adapt, sometimes you're fixated on things, but again, not anymore. This is where you're going to take action the first time you see this kind of energy right here, this kind of lying, manipulative, gaslighting energy, because sitting on it too long messes up your money. It blocks your money. Trying to see people's point of view makes you look like you're the one that's indecisive. And look at all the money that was released. Perfect synergy when it comes to your money and somebody's getting ready to take a trip or vacation. Yeah. When you know that the energy is foul, Libra, no matter how much you want to play fair, there are times that you, you had to learn in this situation while you're healing. Let, let me get above this situation and make a decision sooner. I'm not going to be indecisive about it. This energy is a ma or these energies are master manipulators. I try to be fair and it, it bites me every single time, right? Instead of just addressing it right away. Two of Cups. This is really about duality, first and foremost, right? This is about your feelings, your desires. This is what you believe, right? So when you tap into things and your third eye is telling you, showing you something, that's not the time to say, well, I don't really believe my intuition. Maybe I'm being paranoid. Maybe it's eventually going to go away. No, that's when you want to address it. That is when you want to address it. Head on when you want to address it. All right, let's see what else we have here, Libra. I embody perfect love. Other people are attracted to me as soul to soul. Mm -hmm. Like this. But this is speaking to your duality, but it also speaks to a soulmate, right? Um, which you are your soulmate, but it could also be another person. You can find perfect love when you have discovered it first in yourself. Just like that, just like I just said, you are your soulmate. That's how you find perfect love, when you find it within yourself. Perfect. Let's pull some more oracle cards before we close this out. Libra, I love it, I love it, I love it for you. Love it. All right. Surrender to the divine. Yep. As soon as your intuition, which is the divine, tells you about a situation, take action. Don't sit back and say, well, I'm hope hoping that it's going to change. Especially if it's, if it's showing itself. I mean, like, you really only knew one moon cycle, really. That's from new moon to full moon to see. You got eight major moon phases in that cycle. So you only need one. But if you give a person two moon cycles and you start to see, okay, this is a repeated behavior, a pattern here. They just keep going on and on and on and they're arrogant about it, trying to gaslight you and play games. All right, it's, it's on now. It's on and popping. Here we have soak in a bath. Mm-hmm. Four plus six is 10. That number one, go look it up. Also have the number 10, number 10 means instant manifestation but again you can go look it up on my knowledge channel but here we go this is what it is this situation that somebody came out of was teaching them as soon as your intuition shows you something from a higher frequency and you see it it's time to make a decision because being indecisive will always block your money always block your happiness always block your peace because that's what's behind this vault door it's not just money behind this vault, vault door it's your peace happiness joy legacy everything is behind that door that's what i have for you i'll see you on wednesday bye